receive thousands of stories about ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Now we get to meet kids whose compassion is contagious. We call them our hallway heroes, the inspiration behind Chicken Soup for the Soul's anti-bullying program. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm 12 years old and I'm the founder of Let's Help Kids. Rachel is your average 12 year old. She's into reading and running around and being with her friends, but she's also incredibly positive and happy and cares about other people. And Rachel wanted other kids to feel as good as she did. Let's Help Kids is a company that gives toys and experiences to kids who can't afford them and makes them feel good when they need something to sort of look to and play with. At just six years old, she was inspired by a book. Everyone carries around an invisible bucket and when you are nice to them, you put good feelings into their bucket, and when you're like mean to them or you're bullying them, it takes good feelings out of your bucket. And she came home and decided she wanted to fill buckets. And to fill those buckets, Rachel enlisted the help of her mom. Together, they found children in need, kids who could not afford any toys or fun experiences. They shopped in local toy stores and online, discovering just the right things. Rachel worked tirelessly with her mom, finding creative ways to raise money to support her newfound organization and help more kids. We have an annual gala and we also have an art auction and we have like silent auctions and we have donations. And Rachel's idea, well, it really started to catch on. Social workers like Sam Kelly caught wind of Rachel's efforts. I'm Sam Kelly. I am the executive director for Bridges to Independence. We help families with emergency shelter and rapid rehousing services. Every day, Sam sees how many kids miss out on just being a kid because of hard financial situations. Living in the shelter is not an easy task for an adult, so you can only imagine the difficulty that it may pose for children. Rachel and her friends, known as the Bucket Brigade, get to work filling bags of fun and good cheer. It feels great because I know that I'm helping someone and I know that I'm making someone else feel good. Each gift is a reminder that even though times get tough, there are friends who care. Let's Help Kids has now helped almost 2,000 kids, and so this is 2,000 children who would not have otherwise had this smile or experience from the birthday present, from the bicycle, from summer camp. These are things they couldn't have afforded otherwise. So to know that she's had that kind of impact is really cool. Based on her story alone, we've had children come to us and ask, how could I do something like that? How could I be a part of something like that to help people who are less fortunate than I am? I want other kids to learn that they can start Something like this, no matter how young they are, there's nothing stopping them and they, if they really put their mind to it, they can do whatever they want. They can start as small as like a bake sale or a lemonade stand, but you can definitely make a difference and make other people happy. There's always room for that. I hope other parents see this happening and are encouraged to get their children involved too. Teaching a kid that they can set up a lemonade stand or sell some old toys at a yard sale and then have that money to go and do something for somebody else, I think is an incredibly important lesson. Lessons of compassion and generosity that turn kids like Rachel into hallway heroes for others.